Greetings everybody, welcome back to another Star Trek The Official Starships Collection Review, this time featuring the Nebula class variants. I have them all gathered here in one section for now because, uh, you know, you can see some of the variations between these quirky designs between the mission pods, sensor pods, additional nacelles and the original Galaxy class sit in between, sat in between even. So let's get a little bit up close and personal with some of these variants and uh, kind of talk about them. And let me know in the comments below what you think is the most successful design or what's your just overall favorite. So I'm going to start off with the Galaxy um, just to kind of show you the, the lineage of the ships as well. Just, uh, yeah, it is, this ship doesn't really need to be talked about at all. I just kind of wanted an excuse to have it on a, a rotating uh, platform there just to show off all the lovely curves. I know it's not for everybody, but this was my first uh, enterprise. So it's always going to hold a little bit of a special place in my uh, top 10 lists as well. So again, the iconic saucer section, the very curvaceous drive section and swept back um, pylons uh, showcasing the, I think really cool nacelles as well. A um, lot going on in the ship. But you'll see a lot of those elements then brought to the forefront of the Nebula class ships, uh, minus some of uh, the features, mainly the neck and pylon locations and uh, some other details as well. So this is the genesis of it all. So let's move on to the first Nebula class. So here we have the Honshu. Uh, this has the really cool triangular mission pod on the back. You see the saucer section is married with the drive section so the neck is completely gone which you know in certain scenarios and certain movies has been shown as a weakness. Um, I love the ventrally slung nacelles. The pylons are the same as the Galaxy class just inverted swiping down. Uh, one of the things I don't like about this model is the back of it. There's a god awful seam uh, which should have showcased some additional detail on there as well. But uh, you can see a lot of the elements are present from the Galaxy class right through into the Honshu Nebula uh, over here as well. Dry sections, a little bit different, um, but the mission pod is the kind of the showcase here. And again, when you look at this ship, in addition to, you know, like the Miranda class with the roll bar as well, you can kind of see the kind of iterative design and the potential that uh, this ship had to evolve from the Miranda. Like if you take out the drive section, you know, you, you basically kind of have maybe a modernized Miranda as well. Now other ships kind of fell into that uh, spectrum as well uh, through TNG. But uh, here we have the Honshu. So let's check out the next version available from Eagle Moss. One of my favorite uh, Nebula class ships, this is the Phoenix. This ship has the AWACS style sensor pod. Uh, again, has some of the elements of the, um, Honshu, a little bit of different detailing on the saucer section, but again, you have your underslung nacelles, bit of a different drive section, but then you have the kind of high roll bar with the AWACS style sensor pod as well. Lovely detailing on the sensor pod and the kind of aztec throughout as well. But you can see the additional detailing on the after this ship, no seam here. So um, again, one of the failings with the uh, Honshu is that kind of aft seam just really kind of spoils the back of it where you know it should be showcasing those mission pods as well so phoenix beautiful ship and again uh is an important enough ship in star trek lore when you look back at uh, who was serving on the phoenix and uh, what role the phoenix played in uh, star trek the next generation as well so we have one more nebula variant that we're going to check out so let's move on to that one so one of the more recent ships to come in the line with uh, Eagle Moss has been the USS Melbourne. So this is a ship from uh, the Battle of Wolf 359, Nebula prototype. This is a quad nacelle. So we're not, we don't have a mission pod, we don't have a sensor pod, but we do have two additional small nacelles that are, are to, you know, add additional stability to warp field integrity, probably additional power and some other sources as well. But uh, this is a cool design. And uh, I like the assembly that those little nacelles pop onto it. I know they're not for everybody, but um, you know I do like this ship. And Eagle Moss have put a lot of detail. It's it's one of the more detailed um, nebulas when it comes to the saucer section as well. 
with the panelling in there as well. Uh, you have your phaser strips on the inverted pylons, the underslung nacelles. You have the Galaxy deflector dish on there as well. So you have the three um, Nebula class and the Galaxy class as a companion piece as well. So they, they work very well together in the collection. So this is going to be a short and sweet video. I just kind of wanted to show you all three of these together. And uh, let me know in the comments below what's your favourite Nebula. And uh, if you want to see a Miranda style variant video as well in the future. Um, I've been your local Irish Trekkie. Thanks for stopping by. Big shout out to the patrons supporting the channel over on Patreon. Link is in the doobly-doo if you'd like to support the channel if you enjoy the content. And um, again, big shout out to everybody who comments, shares uh, and likes the videos as well. Do check me out over on the Instagrams and Twitters and Facebook as well. All the links are down below. But uh, as always, as I say, I've been your local Irish Trekkie. I will see you in the next video. Take it easy and goodbye.